Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and I'm Kitty. So today's video will be about my unpopular opinions, Disney edition. I have a lot of opinions on Disney that I really needed to say out loud because I just, I just feel the need that I need to speak on a lot of this stuff because people love to talk shit about Disney now that they're older, but come on, it wasn't even that bad. And guys, before I start, by the way, if I keep looking down at, I'm looking at a paper that I wrote all my notes on, and if you look, see me looking over here, it's uh, me looking at my computer because it has the dates of, of when the Disney shows ended, if I'm going to add them into the video, so don't mind me. And first things first, Disney's good era did not end in 2010. I repeat, Disney's good era did not end in 2010. I don't know who in their right mind really said that and thought it was okay, but Disney's good era did not end in 2010. That made absolutely no sense. There was really good shows on Disney up to like 2018, 2016. And from 2016 to 2018 is really when Disney started to decline in like their goodness of their shows, but Disney's good era did not end in 2010. Simple as that. My next point is that Stuck in the Middle was the last good show on Disney Channel, at least in my opinion. I feel like Stuck in the Middle was literally, it gave me everything I needed in a Disney Channel show. It was a big family full of seven kids and it just showed, and it was an all Latina family, which is something that I haven't seen on Disney Channel in a while since Wizards of Waverly Place. And it, it was a good show and, and it was the last good show on Disney Channel hands down we need a sequel to good luck charlie we need a sequel to good luck charlie where charlie uses the video diaries that teddy made for her to get through middle school or high school and we really do need that like we need to see that sequel because the video diaries are literally what is dragging the show along like we need that for anybody who loved good luck charlie like top tier one of the best disney shows we need that we need that sequel to like give that show closure and I'm pretty sure the new generation like kids that are like in elementary school right now would enjoy it because the, the, the shows that they're watching right now on Disney Channel are so trash like their childhood is not gonna be as good as ours and that's not very good. Liv and Maddie's Raid a Rooney episode was amazing. If you don't know about the Raider Rooney episode it was the episode where the boys in Liv and Maddie's school were rating the girls on their looks from 1 to 10 and Liv was not having it. Liv or Maddie was not having it. She made a song about it and it got it went viral. Baby Kaylee was in it and some other girl. I forgot her name. I forgot her name. I don't know but Baby Kaylee was in it and it was amazing. You know what song I'm talking about. On a scale of 1 to 10 I am perfect like I am. I don't need your number. Period. The best song. Absolutely love it. And I'm still bopping to it till this day. All of our love for toxic men started when we chose Zach over Cody. Let's really talk about this one. All of our love, any girl that loves toxic men to this day that are like my age or like a little bit older, love for toxic men started when you chose Zach over Cody. And I was one of those girls. I mean, I always chose Zach. One, not Cody was cute and all, but. Oh my gosh, he was so annoying. Zach was very interesting and fun. He gave me that little spice of life that I needed, that I needed. He was top tier, amazing. Wizards of Waverly Place is the best, best Disney show, hands down. And don't argue with me about it. Wizards of Waverly Place was the best Disney Channel show of all time. I don't care. Some people say Hannah Montana. Some people say That's So Raven. But personally, I think Wizards of Waverly Place tops here. Alex's character was amazing. She was so relatable. Alex is me. Lazy, don't want to do nothing. It's just amazing. And she's still good at everything that she does, which is the crazy part. Because she doesn't even try that hard. She's just good. And that made Justin so mad and I loved it. And in a nutshell, that's just everything that embodies what I want to be. Alex said, I'm resting for my 30s because I have a lot planned. You can't even lie. Alex, amazing. We all loved her. You couldn't not like Alex. Dog with the blog was so dumb, but I loved it. 
I really did love Dog of the Log. I could, I actually loved that show. It was such a good show. The concept behind it was so dumb because it's a dog who can talk and he was in a lab and he has a blog and, but like, it's it's a good show. And the mother, I, just, I it, like, it was a really good show. The mother really brought it together though, but the show itself, the concept behind the show was dumb, but the show itself was good. Girl Meets World showed us the friendship that we all wanted but could never have. And I say this because Riley and Maya had such a close relationship, a close bond that was just so different. And I feel like they just, it, it was more than just a friendship. And I like the fact that Girl Meets World was a sequel to Boy Meets World and the best friend thing. And it, like, it all tied in together. And I feel like that's what made it better than most other Disney best friend friendships because it was deep rooted and it, it like it had a story behind it a story of two de two generations which is so much better and i like the fact that it gave us that and it was just so, it was better off for it. it made their friendship just way better than any other disney friendship that you would have seen because it was different and it sh it like it went on it went from generation to generation zendaya was the best thing to happen to disney channel hands down Zendaya was the best thing to happen to Disney Channel. She made, she just made it amazing. Zendaya was the best thing to happen to Disney Channel. She just, she brought everything together. She was a black girl on Disney Channel and she, she played a teenager for 10 years. 10 years guys, 10 years. And she's still playing a teenager in Euphoria. And if you haven't watched Euphoria, go watch it cause top tier but that's for another video. DuckTales and our fish hooks are one of the last good cartoons on Disney Channel. DuckTales just, DuckTales and Fish Hooks just gave us everything that we need. I enjoy watching DuckTales and I still watch DuckTales to this day and it's fun and it's like, it's one of the last good. To be honest, Disney's cartoons are way better than their shows nowadays because I don't watch the actual shows with the people in it. I watch the cartoons because I can still watch Amphibia. I still watch Big City Greens. Like those are good shows whether you can, you can't even lie and say that they're bad because they're actually good and they're actually funny. Like they're not Phineas and Ferb, but they still get the job done. We all love Jesse. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. If you say you ain't like Jesse, then you know that I know that you know that you're lying. Cause Jesse, top tier. If you said that you didn't like Jesse, then you are lying to yourself. Just don't lie about it. Like you know you love Jesse. How could you not? You loved it. And I'ma leave it right there. Austin and Allie gave me everything that I needed in the show on Disney. So I tell you, like it really did give me everything I needed in a show on Disney. I loved Austin and Allie. Like, I liked the fact that Austin and Allie didn't get together the second that they met. Like, it built up after the seasons went on. I loved Trish, because Trish, she was a boss. She was a boss. She had a job in every single episode, a different job every single episode, and she still managed to manage Austin and Allie, and she still walked. She walked. Without Trish, Austin and Allie would be nothing. They wouldn't be as famous as they are. And Des, Des, he just, he, he gave me the spice that I needed, the spice, the little bit of, the little bit of, that I needed in that show, he gave me that because he was just so enjoyable and just, I loved Des. He was very much funny and he brought the show together. He was an idiot. He was, a, he was an idiot. But you know what? I didn't hate him. He was very much funny. He got me tight sometimes, but I mean, it was Des. You couldn't really expect much from the idiot. Like, you couldn't even blame him. He was just dumb. And my last and final point is, Phineas and Ferb was stupid. I repeat, Phineas and Ferb was stupid. And I say that because it just was. Their summer went on forever. Sorry, my summer was very much boring. I didn't do as much shit as they did. And you know why it was stupid? Because I wanted to do a lot of the things that they were doing. I just really wanted to and I just couldn't. So I really hated them for that. But I still love Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb is still the best cartoon on Disney Channel. I feel like if you're an adult, you can still watch Phineas and Ferb. Why not? Well, why would you not want to watch it? It was. It's a very entertainable and it's a very fun show. Why would you not want to watch it? So guys, this is the end of the video and I really hope you enjoy me spilling my very unpopular opinions about Disney Channel. And please comment down below if you like the video or not and some of the content that you would like to see on my channel. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, 
pressing the post notification so you could be informed whenever I upload and press that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys come back for more.